What's going on, buddy? Welcome back. We're doing another cube draft here. Uh, someone asked, what happened to the Fallout music on the BRB screen? Is it gone? No. No, the Fallout music's not gone. I also had it on my countdown screen. What Twitch is cracking down on is copywritten music that the games or the streamer do not have the right to. Um, the Fallout music was all licensed and uh, I, believe, I believe Bethesda owns the rights to that. So I, I should be able to use the Fallout music. Um, it, we're talking about most of the problems come from songs. Like, so if there's a song in a game, like there were several songs in Spider-Man um, that Insomniac Games doesn't own the rights to. So that is why just this morning after uploading uh, the first part, I got a copyright strike from On My Own, uh, which is a song by Kid Cudi and Jaden, which is uh, Jaden Will Smith's son. So, thankfully, copyright strikes on um, YouTube don't do anything. Oh, that's pretty sweet. We start right up. God, how many times can I first pick a Fallen Shinobi? How many times is it, is it correct? I think I think the answer to both is 100. Per, all, I think... There, I think I think the, the answer to both of them is all of them. Um, <laughs> I like Ulamog. I like Fallen Shinobi. I like Anime Dead, too. What do you guys think? What are you feeling? What are you feeling, guys? I mean, Ashen Rider probably comes back if we take Anime Dead. Bird is key. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy adcom stip no stip super fritz also has a stip I, I have a couple of stips in the in the queue actually i also have a kerwitz stip i am i feel like it's fallen shinobi i'm sorry i just think it's one of the better cards in the cube it's like a, it's like a black blue fractured identity right like it's it's i personally feel like it's a lot it's among the same power level as like fractured identity That candy corn was crunchy, and I don't feel like it should have been. I like Splinter Twin here. I mean, second picking Splinter Twin is pretty good. I'm game for that. It also means we'll likely have a Pestermite, which is a pretty good target to bounce back with a Fallen Shambi, so. Fingers crossed. Oh, what up, Unforgiven? Welcome to the day stream, my dude. Is the copyright strike on YouTube? Why aren't we watching you play Spider- What does that question mean? Oh, Consecrated Sphinx? Oh, fudge, yeah. Also, I, I don't think people are respecting Crater Huff nearly enough. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Hopefully this Chupacabra comes back. I think you said, I think you meant if, if the copyright strike is on YouTube, why aren't we watching you play Sp um, Spider Man's gonna be after this. We're gonna play about an hour and a half of Spider Man, get another part in. And, uh, that should be good times. Sometimes when people mistype and you, and you don't understand that, you just gotta, like, figure out which, which of the words in the sentence is easily replaceable with a more logical word. In this case, it was is, and it's easily replaced by if. So. Taking a little break from work. Nice. Unforgiving. Good to see you, buddy. I like almost bought a PS5 after seeing you play yesterday. I'm glad. Like, I'm glad that, like, you guys appreciated it and, like, uh, you know, thought it was good. I only like Scavenger here because of Fallen Shinobi. But also, I'm really tempted. Oh, what about, like, Rabble Master? Rabble Master gives you a bunch of dudes that we can Fallen Shinobi back. Um, I think I like Urza, though. Urza's just very good. What was the first set that you drafted when you started playing? I have no idea what the first set I drafted was. I actually don't like Lily that much. 
I'm gonna take Urza. Um, I don't remember the first set I drafted. The first set I ever bought packs for was probably Fallen Empires or Homelands. Not great packs to start with. And I still stuck around. Oh, big moles. Also, Inferno Titan's a beast. It's gotta be big moles, right? Because we don't know if we're red yet, but we're definitely blue, and big moles is pretty good. I'm also making tikka masala, paneer tikka masala, and it's been cooking in the crock pot. I toss it in the crock pot just to make it easier, and it smells banging right now. Wow, this pack is terrible. Not a single red, blue, or black card that we care about. I mean, Koldatha Forge Master maybe for like Urza? That seems bad. Bazaar seems bad. Triumph is okay. I'm just going to heat up some leftover Arby's chicken sandwiches. So here's the thing. If you have leftover Arby's, you ordered too much Arby's. I feel like if you ever have leftover fast food, you just, you, you messed up. Arabian Nights was a set I bought the first pack from. That's actually a... I mean, that's a solid... See, your first pack could have gone up in value or you could have opened something valuable, whereas my first packs, at no point, um, were any good. Hmm. Really on the fence here. Really no idea what to take. What recipe do I use? Um, It's just a recipe I've been using for ages um so a can of 28 ounce crushed tomatoes two ounces of tomato paste about and then you can use like paneer or chicken however much you want really um could just be dread horde arcanist i i oh god could just take the signet it's not exciting i want to take language for the sideboard whatever that pack is pretty bad um, I like a Gonti actually. That's pretty good. I also don't care about Dark Slick Shores. All right, we're gonna put this in the sideboard for now. I think also both Languish and Liliana's Triumph are both playable in certain matchups. So I'm gonna go over this. I'll go over this recipe after this draft. Or. Yep, told you that Ashen Rider was coming back. I'm just gonna think Murderous Rider. We're just playing mid-range decks. Like we've just been playing like blue black mid-range like so many times. It's like mono green and blue black mid-range. Those have been our, our go-tos. But like we're not seeing anything. We were trying to draft like Splinter Twin. We didn't see much red. Duretti? Shut up and take my money. And Flame Tongue, huh? Can we get a Katie Mike and Frank draft alternating picks with a twist? Each one of you gets one veto against each other. Okay, that seems great. And I can probably we can probably do that this weekend. Do you want to be there for it? Because I don't want you to have to miss it. But I also that might be hard to schedule, so you might have to just catch it on YouTube. That's awesome. Unforgiven. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate the support, my dude. Uh, I'm going to think Stomping Ground just in case. Katie just said, what was that? What was what? 
I don't know what she's talking about. Whatever. I'll 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 deny someone passed in flames. Something about a video or something? What is she talking about? Did she <laughs> Kenny, are you talking about what I said out loud? <laughs> she said, yeah. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh god. Oh, pester might shit. Okay, so now we're living the dream. We're just taking the pester might. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Okay, let's go to Dashy Board. First picking Pestermite's not super exciting, but when you got that Splinter Twin. Oh my god, channel again? God, crying out loud, guys. Just taking Snapcaster here. It's not great with what we have right now, but it is great in general. I don't think it's Channel, I don't think it's Niv, Char, like none of these cards are other, none of these other cards. We can take Basalt Monolith, actually. I don't think that's better than a, the potential of Snap. We still have another pack to open, like Ancestral or Time Walk, too, so. Thank you! Black Gehenna, thank you so much for the sub, really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Nice. This is solid. Unforgiving the two two five eight. There's a there's a Eulamog. I think something in this pack might come back, whether it's Thirst, Chandra. Um I'm gonna take the water grave though, because our mana's looking rough. I had an opponent storm off for entirely too long before really, really reading past in flames different than Yogmoth's will, and that they were not gonna be able to bring back Lotus Petal for blue to cast brain freeze. Oh dear. Oh dear. Man, through the breach? Jeez. I actually think it's through the breach here, and, and like maybe Emrakul comes back, or uh, the Ulamog comes back. Or we can hit an Emrakul, but like there's nothing else in this pack other than like Boros Signet. Through the Breach is, is good. It's good. I, I kind of like Collective Brutality here. Uh, it lets us free the path for like Pestermite through the Breach. Let's put Splinter Twin back in the deck. I don't really care about Seagate Stormcaller. I'd rather just have cards to, to cast. Uh, Trinket Mage is not exciting. Necromancy is actually fine. Let's necromancy here. Colagon's command. I, I like Solemn Simulacrum a lot, but I'd rather just have Colagon's command because it's again Snapcaster Mage and it's just really good. Ways to destroy artifacts are are pretty solid. I don't think we're a Gear Hulk deck. We only have like Through the Breach and Colagon's command. I'm just thinking Stone Cold Serpent. Like it's just solid. It's a threat at all points. You just smile. Give me a Vegemite Sandwich. I kind of like Chart, of course. It's a discard outlet for Necromancy if we want to do that. Like, we can discard Consecrated Sphinx and then just pull it back. It's also just draw two. Do you remember the last card you got excited for when you pulled it? One of the most notable things I remember is, like, pulling a six-mana Elspeth when I was doing a draft at the local shop. I would like some more fixing other than just Watery Grave. Basalt Monolith coming back seems really weird. I mean, I'll take it. None of the good cards came back, but Mana Flare and Yogmoth's Will did, so that's interesting. I'll take Plague Crafter. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm cool. You know what? I'll take an Emrakul. If we can just necromancy an Emrakul, I think it's fine. It's not a through the breach target. But maybe if we put them to, 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 to 13. I come from the land down under. Zooby doo 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 doo. Yes, Elspeth Sun's champion, yeah. And it was like when that card was like super pricey and like it was very, very good. Alright, I think this pack has to deliver. We have Through the Breach and Splinter Twin with Pestermite, but no real. Okay. Well, Mox Ruby's good, but then there's also a bribery? Jeez. I mean, it's gotta be Mox Ruby. It's an on-color Mox. I don't love passing bribery, but... What's a bribery, but? <laughs> Whatever. It's a Mox. We also got an Urza. Oh, I love a Thieving Skydiver a lot. Bloodstained Mire also pretty cool. Jeez. I think it's got to be Bloodstained Mire. It's both of our colors. I mean, unless we see a combo piece, I got to take the, the Bloodstained Mire here. I, I think Bribery is that at its most lucrative in this cube. This is uh, this is the best cube to play Bribery in. That's wild. No, this is the cube where everyone's playing Consecrated Sphinx, Multiple Titans, Emrakuls, Ulamogs, Blightsteel, Colossuses. Like, most of the combo decks, Sneak Attack, Through the Breach, uh, the Mono Green decks, Tinker, like, they all have targets. Like, this is the format where, like, it's at its best. Like, you, like there was bribery in the modern cube, and it's just not as impressive, because, like, the most you're getting is, like, a 6-drop or something, whereas here you're getting... 8 to 12 drops. 8 to 15 drops. I think we're just taking Golos here. We also have a Stomping Ground and a Neil Spires if we want to just put those in the deck and that gives us access to all the colors. I do like a control... Oh, Demir Signet. Ugh, Demir Signet seems really good here. Yeah, we're taking Demir Signet. Progenitus. That does nothing for us. Okay. Shark Typhoon I kind of like. Exhum is interesting. The problem is, like, we don't have any great... Yeah, we're just taking Shark Typhoon. I come from the land down under. Someone has never put a porcelain legionnaire to play off a bribery and it shows. Look how late Time Twister goes. That's funny. That's funny. Eh, Firebolt's meh. I don't really want to be Time Twistering, right? I think it's actually just Shatter Skull Smashing. Come on, we're looking for good stuff. I think actually Blood Chief's Thirst is pretty good. I don't think we're an Emery deck by any means. I think it's even better because we have we do have uh, Snapcaster, so. Goblin Guide refuses to concede. Uh, yikes. Not a great pack. Oh boy. Oh boy.
Ugh. Ugh. Just take a turnabout, I guess. Man, Wheel of Fortune, I'm just taking Heartless Act here. This deck is not great. I don't think this is even a Through the Breach deck. I don't even think we have Through the Breach going on here, unfortunately, which means we need, like, a cut. Oh, all right. Now, uh, Earthwing Cloud Skate's a nice pickup to get rid of Through the Breach. I also don't want Emrakul, huh? Can you get rid of Emrakul? Is Hangerback Walker any good? It's not terrible because we do have Fallen Shinobi. Elder Gargaroth. Oh, Thunderbolt Hellkite's actually pretty, just, just pretty cool. I really don't like that we have two fixing lands, though. It's pretty rough. Ugh. Thankfully, we only need double red for this guy. Yikes. I think you probably just see playing Hangerback Walker. Uh, Vintage Cube is definitely my favorite magic format, yes. Um, I just play Stomping and Needle Spires in order to get our, our Golos online. Like, we just play all of these except for... <laughs> except for Academy Ruins. There's also one, two, three, four, five sources of red for like three red cards. I think that's actually fine. And blue, we have four, five, six, seven. And we're going to have four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. Two, three. Also, Golos. I had one more blue. Just not even gonna play this because, like, Bloodstained Mire still does get Stomping Ground, which is fine. This is 15 land, which is 16 land, and a Mox, which I think is fine. Alright. This deck is... Mm, it's something alright. I don't love it. Tempted to give Standard Feet a timer for saying side deck? I appreciate you, and I also cringed internally a little bit. I was like, ooh, side deck. I don't know why it bugs me so much. <laughs> It would be deserved. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy. Get a load of this guy. I mean, it wasn't the good Emrakul. It was literally the 13-man Emrakul. Not the if it was the 15-man Emrakul, I'd instantly snap it off. But that one does not win you games. Wow, it's you. I think so. I'll suspend that guy. Boy, Teferi is real good when you... When you got a Riftwing Cloud Skate suspended. Lies. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's pretty rough. I don't foresee us getting rid of this guy through a text. Maybe through a murder shrider. Dorati hmm. spaghetti. Okay, we're just gonna lose this rift wing, right? So. What can you do? Maybe we'll just draw Fallen Shinobi. Seven mana, huh? I feel like changing my username. Interesting. What would you change it to? Cool. This has been a fun game. Yep. I mean, I don't. I don't think there's anything I can draw here that's gonna actually make me feel good about this game. <laughs> oh, your deck looks like a fucking blast. Oh boy. Oh boy. Seems good. And land. Stone coil? Sure. That's basically a land. Okie dokie. That was fun. Who's having a good time? Everybody. Yeah, I don't think Playcrafter is going to necessarily be good enough. Um, I don't love it, but I'll keep it. Tempted to make a 2 2. Not anymore. Veggie Beast Punk, what is this you're doing? What is this chicken bit you're doing? I don't understand. Okay. I'm actually just making a 4-4. Four four. Just old school beat down with a 4-4. Four four. Ideally we draw land next turn and then we can mold drifter too. That'd be... That'd be spicy. Oh, 
Okie dokie. Rakdos has returned my whole hand again. <sighs> yep. Oh, treachery first, then Rakdos has returned my whole hand. <laughs> Fantastic. Yep. Oh. Hmm. Fascinating. Well, seems good. Interesting. So we can play four here, keep up Urza along with. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, okay. I think they're going to welder their called off a forge master back. I think they're just fantastic and we're going to have a hard time beating it. Um <laughs> There's a signet. Sounds good. So the thing is, like, even if we have the combo, we just can't uh, do anything about that. So. Got a pester mine, I guess. I'm like, let me get my Forge Master back again. Yeah, their deck is nuts.
Interesting. Are they just pumping this dude to infinity? Okay. Yeah, we have needle spiders. They couldn't have been in our pod. Good luck. Good. Good call, Ant Faden. Um, one, two, one, two, one, two. Sure. Okay. Well, we had a good run. Apparently, Ulamog is indestructible. Forgot to get 4G. I'm sure you're doing just fine. Okay. Well, it's pretty good. Oh, what up, Arc Drummer? Man. I do, but it's not really... Your deck was insane, dude. Your deck was very, very good. Yeah, you're just attacking on a million. I, when, he, when he treachered, I was like, oh, you're just going to rack us, return my entire hand after treachery. You did not. Still pretty good. Can you show? I don't actually. Is there a way to show the deck? Um, like here. Oh man, we got Urk Tenors and Urk Drummer? This is wild. When your Urks combine. Um. Is there any other double black card I'd want to play next turn? Not really. And we don't have the double blue for. For Urza anyway, so. Um, probably just holding that and playing Basalt Monolith. And they're gonna mana leak it! Oh, it's gonna get... Oh, you're just gonna Ancestral Recall in response. Seems good, my dude. Excuse me? Yeah, I get three mana. They draw three cards. It's basically the same thing. That was the animated X-Men theme, yes. That theme is fire. You're right. You're right, Christopher. I'm just gonna pass here. I'll just cast this guy next turn. Do they discard cards? Imperial... Did they Imperial Seal to get Ancestral then have to discard, like, a land? That's pretty wild. Oh, it's your boy. Oh, we're just going to bounce their token. Mm. 
Nothing yet, nothing yet. Got him. <laughs> High tide, huh? Okie dokie. He's got seven mana, huh? Alrighty then. What are the odds this is a Twisterino? Or a, a Spiral... Spiral... Spirino. Everyone upset that they invented Morph and then killed him? Yeah, I remember this. I was like, this isn't even a real character. <laughs> oh, Mind's Desire for four. Okay, not... Don't care. Yep, that's fine. Nope. All right, sounds good. Three artifacts is definitely not a bad hit. Doesn't do anything, but. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. They also have eight mana now, so that was actually, could have been a decent hit, I guess. Jesus. Alright, we're digging through time. There are ways to make things artifacts, but there should be ways to make things not artifacts. Are they not still artifacts, though, Go? Interesting. There's just so many things to remember in Magic the Gathering. What a wild and crazy ride this game can be. They're really digging here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 mana next turn. This is actually pretty good. I mean, for a Mind's Desire turn that doesn't win, this is actually not bad. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The best part about Lotus Petal is that you can actually just activate it for blue now. What up, turn 1 Chalice? Like we said, this deck is not super great, and I'm not going to be super surprised if we don't actually win anything. I was thinking of the creature Urza creates being automatically 1-1, one, one, but if you could make it not an artifact, it would die. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Remove artifact from a card. I mean, it's worth noting they have 1, 2, 3, uh, 4 to 6 mana, depending on how they want to use Basalt Monolith, so this could be a very relevant. I mean, if they hit Tendrils off of this dig through time, it's pretty nuts, but I don't know why it would take so long. Maybe because they have Tendrils... And that's the only thing they can cast, and they're trying to figure out if it's worth going to only nine storm. Okay, well, that answers that, I guess. Uh, we're going to be doing this draft, and then we're going to be playing some Spider-Man after this, so... I mean, they could always just spin the wheel with Urza. Hit that Mind's Desire. Here we go. Are they just tendrilsing us exactly and then they took like 40 minutes to do this? Uh, I'm tapped out. I only have colorless mana. 
So, like, I don't know what you're doing right now. This is wild. Oh, they spun the wheel. Okay. So they basically did nothing. Okay. Huh. Man, that was <laughs> nice. Solid. Oh, Lord. Well, let's attack. I do wish I had a way to get rid of Urza right now, but... Because they have a lot of hits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. They have, oh, I guess, two hits. Um, We're actually going to draw, and I don't think we're going to need the infinite mana here, so... Uh, might as well play Consecrated Sphinx off of the colors that we don't need. And if we don't play anything, then we can just untap it anyway, so. Shark Typhoon. Sure. That's actually decent. It gives him a third hit off of Urza, so. Undo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, they have they have three hits, so we're just trying to dodge bullets here, I guess. I like it. The problem with Kolagon's command killing like one of these is that they just tap them for blue anyway, so it's like Okay, two islands. Let's do it. Last one. Show and tell. <laughs> Alright, three whiffs. Sounds good. That's pretty good. So we can attack for six here. I just want to keep Shark Typhoon up because it wins us the game. And we get to draw two more cards. Three more with the Typhoon. So I want to see what we hit. Plus we're in the draw step. So I can if I kill Urza, they can't... Oh, no. They can still do it. Well, that's unfortunate. Until the end of the turn you play it. Sure, that's fine. So they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mana. My, what can you do? It's a 3, 4, 5, sure. Spin that wheel. <laughs> living the best, we're, we're living our best life here. Did they not play a land last turn off of Urza? No, here's Island Island Show and Tell. They didn't actually play a land off of Rizzo. Nice. So because they have one card in hand, we can actually Coligons command them, get rid of their last card, and then Shark Typhoon for five. Let's do that. Discard a card. One two three and this also puts them to seven so it's lethal so we don't even have to show them shark typhoon okay they just win we just win the game god that's a lot of artifacts 
A lot of artifacts that just did nothing. I mean, Doretti feels good against that Murderous Rider, Heartless Act. Like, we had a bunch of things. Necromancy seems rough, but we don't really have a ton of things that are just any, any much, that much better than Necromancy, I guess. I mean, I almost tempted to just play Thunder My Hellkite as like a fuck, uh, like a, a guy instead of Necromancy. Yeah, that seems fine. Put another red in. Liliana's Triumph isn't great because, like, the only creature we saw there was, like, Thassa's Oracle or um, Urza, which makes its own guy. So your odds of actually hitting the Urza is pretty low and we also have a ton of removal anyway so I'd rather have more threats that can close out the game quicker and we know they have Ancestral Recall <laughs> we do not have Shatterstorm actually <sighs> Jesus yep Soul Ring and Ancestral is pretty good. Well, hopefully, uh, well, oh God, you got Chrome Mox too. He's like, I'll just get regular Mox. Lion's Eye Diamond. Fascinating. I guess we're just hanger back, walkering, hanger back, hanging, hanger, hangering back, harangue back, walker. Charter storm. <laughs> oh dear Jesus. I wonder if they have Chrome Mox in hand. I do not understand. I guess we're just playing this guy, right? Did you get a chance to catch that Netflix series I told you about? You, you gotta be more specific. They're like, can I go off this turn and I have to sit here and wait till they figure it out? Hold on, I'm gonna F6 here and I'm gonna go stir my take my salt and make sure it's looking good. I'll be right back. Oh, hold on, they're doing it. I have six, so... 
Yeah, do your thing, man. Knock yourself out. Alright, cool. They discarded their hand to put a Bolus' Citadel into play. <laughs> well, that's pretty nefarious. Yeah, Queen's Gambit was already on our radar. Me and Katie were wanting to watch it. We watched the first episode the other day. It was pretty alright. So they literally discarded Show and Tell Minds Desire and Dark Petition just to get a Bolus of Citadel on the play. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. Okay, well, they're in top deck mode. Seems okay. Play to land. Sounds good. Three, four, five. So whatever this is, is coming right off the top. Seven mana. Palancron. Sure. I mean, if the next cards land, then they're just like stuck here, right? So. Also, the mana doesn't really. That's pretty good. I'll, I'll also draw a million, though. So, that's cool. So, we have four cards that aren't coming down next turn. One of them is definitely going to get played. So, we can at least draw four. Probably more. Probably more. <laughs> sure. Like, Duretti's nice. It can kill this. We can also play Riftwing Cloudscape. This is other? It's other permanent cyrus ten nine land, so they have five. Six. We're also at twenty, so I don't I'm not too worried about that. Also mines desires in the graveyard, so that's pretty good. Storm counts only at four. They have one card in hand and one card on the top. This might be the end. Oh, it's the end. Oh boy. <laughs> Okay, so we're directing and killing the Bolus of Citadel. So there's one, two, three, four, five. We have six mana, so we can Duretti, and then we can also Murderous Rider. Black, 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 red. Okay, so let's cast Mox. We have one card in hand, one card on the top, sure. One, two, three this guy oh they just conceded <laughs> it's okie dokie I guess they went all in on Bodles to sit all in, like drawing one card they know what they're going to draw next turn it's probably a land which is why they didn't play it so they're like well I get to draw a land and then do nothing so alright well Well, we're at least going to 1-2, and that's really all you can ask for sometimes when your deck doesn't come together. I like this hand. We can even cycle this guy? Sure. Jace Death 1 is our opponent's name. Good gravy. Yo, what up, Nick Squirt? <laughs> See, that's just funny. Alright, this is a solid curve. Bam, ba, da, bam. Remember that Mox Ruby that I drew that one time, my opening hand? 
They haven't done anything? Interesting. This is the where they go Island Teferi, and I'm like, twice in one draft. Sea Chrome Coast. Oh my fucking god. Okay, that's fine. Oh, we get to necromancy that next turn? Oh, we're definitely doing that. I don't want to return this to, to their hand, though. Ugh. Gross. The word skunk is an Americanism from 1630s, the Massachusetts reflex of Proto-Algonquian squunk? Squunk. From pro Oh, they're just going to bounce their own guy anyway. That's pretty good. Yep, that's a, that's a real gem of a turn right there. And still, still no land. That's... It's pretty wild. 27, 13 cards in the deck. All right. Do we just sack, do we just mull drifter to hit a land? Seems bad. I guess we can just basalt monolith here. Yeah. Okie dokie. They did not declare their level of fandom. That's true. guarantees that we can go Riffling Cloudscape like bounce their stupid Jace it doesn't guarantee it I guess but it means we can yep that's fine okay so they have one mana up this is actually just fine Well, we're not going to play our mana for five because I'd rather play their mana. But, no, definitely going to play theirs. Attack you. Yep, that's fine. Lose the mana. Oh, really? Really? Wow, that's fucking incredible, dude. Jesus. Oh, boy. Oh, good, they have Cryptic Command and Repeal. That's nice. Jesus. Oh, boy. I mean, I was tempted to bounce this, but I assume in response they would have gotten rid of Riffling Cloudskate, so. Um, probably just passing here, right? Like, make them waste their Cryptic Command. Yeah, I think we're just done here. I, there's, I don't think there's any way we're realistically coming back from this game. Like, we know they have Jace Cryptic Command in hand. Like, we have no pressure whatsoever right now. Hmm. 
One, two, three. We can untap this, have four mana. It doesn't really do much at instant speed. We we're only making a, a two mana shark, which is not even super impressive. Yeah, we're just gonna concede here. I, I just don't foresee us. Like, like we've missed, like, what? it's turn six. We've missed two land drops. This is really hard to come back from when you're just not able to play your things. Unforgiven, have a good night, buddy. Thank you for the support, my dude. Really appreciate it. Yeah, this is fine. Next time we can make a 7-7 snake, which is kind of cool. Here comes a wall of omens. face hmm, fascinating Good times. We're having a good time. The thing about Shelldock Isle is you never know if you're giving them a good reset or a bad reset. Oh, Monastery Mentor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five. Cast a big moles. Hit land. Ooh, Splinter Twin on Moldrifter. Where's those double reds at? One mana shy of also untapping our Basalt Monolith, but that's okay.
Oblivion Ring. Moldrifter, sure. It's not super impressive. So, huh. Unfortunately, getting this guy back doesn't do much for us here, but it might just be one, two, three. So one, two, three. Actually, they've used both Repeal and the other thing, so I'm just going to make a 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah, it seems fine. I mean, <clears throat> the problem is if they have a way to bounce the Monastery Mentor back to their hand, that's not great. Seems good. Bounce the stone coal serpent like you like you do. Yep. <laughs> it definitely would have been worse on Monastery Mentor. Do we just get to kill a Jace though? They don't have a white source up. Fascinating. That's pretty good. Jeez. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I kind of want to kill the... I kind of only want to make, like, make a 4-4 four four here and then just keep up Murderous Rider slash Untap Basalt Monolith. Can't target Planeswalkers with this, right? It also plays around things like Mana Leak, if they have Mana Leak. So. They've literally drawn, like, a million cards. They've drawn, like, seven more cards than we have off of their stupid library, which is a pretty ridiculous amount. Thank you! Knight of Sticks, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Year and a half. Feels good. Okay. Well, I like keeping Murderous Rider up for this. Are they going to neg four? No. Oh, that's really good. Like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is eight. Sure. <laughs> is this where they time walk and time walk us forever? Yep. Okay. Can see the game. Sounds good. Cool. <laughs> right. Must be nice. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out manatraders.com if you're looking for a great subscription service for Magic Online. You can get 15% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. It's a good deal if you're looking for that service. Also a great way to support the channel. And uh, be sure to follow or subscribe. You can head over to Twitch if you're watching on YouTube and do it that way as well. And uh, 
really really a super super great way to support the content you're watching i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching